Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is Eyes Wide Shut and my name is Lachey. Today I will be doing a 2020 um, reading. <laughs> just an overall reading for 2020. Um, first I will be pulling an oracle card uh, just to get an overall energy. I will also be pulling a love oracle. And after that I will be doing um, just a little bit of tarot on love and finance. Okay? Alright. Spirit, what is the overall energy for Scorpio for 2020, please. Spirit, what's the overall energy for Scorpio for 2020, please? Spirit, what's the overall energy for Scorpio for 2020, please? Spirit, what's the overall energy for Scorpio? Wow. Okay, we're going to just take the first card. Well, I'll take all of the cards. So Scorpio, I feel like you're with these, oh, let me just show you, okay, with this first card, I feel like you're starting to get some downloads while you're sleeping in 2020, I feel like things are going to start really like festering, coming towards you, showing you different things, you're going to start seeing things in a different way, you're going to open up to new possibilities, your mind is going to just be enlightened you're just going to be drawn to things that you have never been drawn to before okay okay with this card i feel like you have closed your heart off in the past um especially in 2019 but before that something happened where you closed yourself off but i feel like now you are going to start working and healing on your inner self you're gonna work on bringing whatever it was out so that then you can release it okay for 2020 with this card I feel like things between you and another has actually disrupted something within you okay and I feel like you're gonna start working on that okay I feel like you're gonna start releasing it you're going to start making some type of change within yourself and your inner environment, um, and which is going to start drawing out certain things within you. Um, and it, people are going to actually see this whole nother change. I feel like with this card, I see you and something birthing, something coming out of you, something totally different, a new idea, something that has changed your view and uh, how people view you as well. Okay. There are messages in reference to love for 2020. Do you have for Scorpio, please? There are messages in reference to love. There are messages do you have in reference to love for Scorpio? Okay. <laughs> All right. You are limitless. Okay, Scorpio. I feel like if you look at this card, you see how this person is just emerging from whatever she was, like whatever it was that she was confined, you're just coming out. It actually reminds me of this card because if you see, I don't know if you can see, you see the woman, she's just coming out. She's coming out. Okay. Let's pull this one. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness uh, energizes you and brings you happiness to those around you okay I just feel like this is going to be a year of you showing somewhat of your true self okay because I feel like a lot of things were hidden within you due to certain past hurts past disappointments things that have happened to you in the past years this has happened to you over the years I feel like all of these things Bits and pieces are starting to come back towards you. Okay, Scorpio. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Okay. I just feel like with this card, you're going to be selling to new adventures, new opportunities. Things are going to start changing for you because of the things that you're releasing. The way that you see yourself. Is changing so that is going to in turn change the way you see things coming towards you okay I feel like the waters at one time was kind of rough 
but I feel like they're going to start coming because of how you see things, okay? Receive with love and appreciation, okay? Accept the way someone else loves and accept the way you love as well. Because again, you know, the way that we see love is not always the way another sees love because we all experience things differently and sometimes we cannot understand how another person reacts and acts to certain things and why they do this and why they do that because their reaction is according to how they were raised and how they see it. You, your reaction is according to how you were raised and how you see it. So, you, you know, sometimes we prejudge. Sometimes we look at things because we're not looking at it the same way. We need to take ourselves out so that we can see how the other person feels. And I feel like you are emerging in 2020. You're going to start seeing things in a different way. You're going to open your eyes and you're going to become, you're transforming into something totally different, Scorpio. Spirit, what messages in reference to love do you have for Scorpio, please? Spirit, what messages do you have in reference to love for Scorpio, please? Scorpio, I feel with these two cards, it says the fear, okay, so darkness, hesitation. Know that you are protected, alone, abandoned, lonely, lost, the divine is with you. I feel like, again, I go back to something has happened in years to you where you have to, it, and I feel like it was a loss uh, for some of you, some kind of loss. It could have been a relationship, it could have been a family member, someone that you were close to that you have lost that actually made you feel alone. And this is the reason why you have to heal. You were going through a healing process and I feel like you still are healing from whatever this may have been, okay? And I feel like you, that's the reason why you have felt alone. You feel lost, you feel fear, you know, fear of being alone because of someone has left you, okay? But I feel like you're healing from all of that. Spirit, what messages do you have in reference to finance and career for Scorpio, please? Spirit, what messages do you have in reference to finance and career, please? Okay, attract. Focus on attraction and building relationship with clients who are happy to buy your product and service. Invest. Invest in yourself to learn the skills you need to create a thriving business that grows wealth for you. I feel like there's going to be um, a lot of the theme next year is going to be on what you can do for yourself, how you can grow and have your own business. Maybe little projects, something, you know, I do see someone doing hair, working on um, doing hair out of their home or trying to open up their own salon. I see people, um, you know, like different little projects. Um, I see uh, some kind of sales team working together, collaborating, trying to understand um, how to bring clients in. I see advertisements, all these different things that people are trying to come. I see new media, um, social media accounts being created. Um, I see people, you know, modeling, all different kind of things um, that's coming towards you, Scorpio, okay? I'm also seeing some people uh, doing uh, a lot of their businesses from home, working on certain things um, from home. Whoa, okay. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. I feel like there is, uh, again, I feel like there was some kind of ending to, um, or some kind of loss, a loss that you felt that was not fair or was too, or had happened dramatic, like very fast, okay? And it was very unexpected, okay? But I feel like things are going to change for you as you change within and as you heal within for 2020, because I do see a lot of changes, a lot of transformation. I feel like once these um, things start occurring, and I feel like you have also started transforming, I'm, I'm feeling like things are going on now that's going to, um, that's pushing you into 2020, that's 
coming along with you. Um, I don't feel like it's the hurt and the pain. I feel like it's new opportunities, new ways of thinking, things that you're bringing towards you um, for 2020, okay? I feel like in the past you were judged. You felt judged. You felt down. You felt people were all around you. But I feel like these things are ending. These energies are not coming with you because you're not allowing them to come with you. Okay, Scorpio? All right. Well, thank you so much, Scorpio. You have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.